I'm Seth Johnson with Land House. So previously we installed the vents into the soffit material, but there is no vent on the, uh, the top of the building yet. And so I think I'm just going to install the same type of vent on the back of the house. Hope that's going to work all right as far as uh, keeping rain out. So um, this should allow airflow from the soffit up to the top of the house and out here or at least that's uh, what it's supposed to do. So I've got my uh, temperature gun again and let's um, take some before readings so we can get some after installation readings. Let's see what we get downstairs here. Looks like in the 70s or 83 on Wally. <laughs> but so we got 70s here Let's see what we get upstairs. 113, 114, 15. So over 100 upstairs. Let me jump up here and see what it is at the very crest of the building. It's uh, 122 or so. So I've got my carbide tipped hole saw here. Of course, earplugs, mask, and glasses. So let's go up top here and uh, cut a hole for this attic vent. Okay. Well, I got through the first part and hit the uh, under limit here. So I've got to cut it out, I guess. <laughs> Several layers of it here. Maybe an issue hitting this nail up under here. Unless it will pop out. We'll see about that. Okay, what to do with that nail? Up and down the ladder, over and over again. All right. Good. Much better than trying to cut through that thing. Gosh, that thing is just billowing hot air. So, like all the rest of these, it's a little bit too big of a hole for the uh, this plate. So, I guess I'm gonna bend back some of these a little bit. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Let's see what we can do. Let's just give it a try. And I'll be putting lots of caulk around here to uh, make sure it 
doesn't leak or have bugs get in. Okay. So now I'm going to go inside and attempt to pull those tabs down a little bit. Phew, it is hot up here. Okay, so this thing's not really meant for this, but I'm going to see if I can poke these tabs in here a little. I may have to replace this later with something designed for this application. I got a little caulk left here. Thought I would fill this gap in here. Like I said, if this doesn't work, I'll come back later and just maybe put in one of those box shaped ones. We'll see. Well, not the prettiest job, is it? But I think we can make it work. Well, I'm back upstairs. I've got our heat gun. 102 on this thing, 104. So, and over here, 80. So that thing is definitely pulling out some heat. So let's go inside and see what it's like upstairs. All right, coming upstairs here. It's already cooler. I mean, not great, but cooler. So let's see. Uh. Hundred and twenty one, hundred and four, hundred and four. Can you see that? There you go. Hundred nineteen, hundred nine. 120. So it's starting to make a difference and it's better than nothing. I wonder how these are doing. Hundred and four versus like hundred and eight, thirteen. Anyway, so there is definitely a difference here. I wonder what it's like up here. 121 so yeah I mean it's starting to cool off a little like 101 over there now versus what it was before so some improvement well that was exciting 104 degrees upstairs still hot I'm sure it'll uh, take a while to vent that place out some but I would rather have 104 degrees than 120 um, above my insulation so Definitely an improvement. Do consider subscribing. I post at least three videos every week, whether it's a tiny house or a project or just a video blog. But um, take a moment to thumbs up the video. I'm Seth Johnson with Land a House, and I will see you next time. Bye. This up there. I may try that on the next one. So, just going to try slipping this into here. As you can see, it is 24 inch.